Hello, today we're going to talk about the power of your words, the power of your words. And basically the foundation scriptures is going to come from Genesis, the first chapter. And they talked about how God spoke everything into existence. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the water and let it separate the water from the wa the waters from it. So therefore, God spoke everything into existence. Words have power. I remember we used to say, uh, I have a saying when I was uh, young, uh, sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is so far from the truth. Words have power. God tells us that life and death are in the power of the tongue. We have to be careful what we speak. We even have to speak our salvation into existence. Romans 10 and 9 tells us, but if you confess with your lips, speak it. You know, to confess means to speak it with your lips. That the the Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Power in the words that you speak. That's why it's very important that when we speak to one another, that it's a way to edify, build up one another in the faith. It's not to say negative things, to tear down one another. And when I say negative things, it doesn't necessarily have to be something someone wants to hear. But if it's truth in the spirit of love, then it's okay to speak those type of, uh, of words. I'm talking about things that come out of our mouth that doesn't encourage one another in the faith. The power of words is very real. God even tells us, you know, if we speak those things as if they were, then they will happen. Speaking, using your words are very powerful. Be careful what we say to our children. You know, if we're telling them good things about themselves, we build them up. If we're telling them negative things, then we're tearing them down. And just like the sticks and stones um, riddle, yeah, physically we may heal, but the words, people are still fighting about or trying to deal with or having that wrestle with words people have said about them and to them in their childhood. There is power in your words. So when we think about how we speak to one another, not only the words that we use, but the spirit that we speak them in. We should speak them in a way that is edifying, even if it means correction. Everybody thinks that just because you correct somebody in the word of God that is negative. No. If we speak those words, even in correction, in the spirit of love, we still are building up. We still are edifying one another. It's important that we understand the power of our words is very important because words cut into the spirit and souls of individuals. And some people never really get over it. I remember as a young girl, my dad would say, you could be anything that you want. Get a good education. I believe that. And I believe because of the type of things that he spoke into my life, it was like a self-fulfilling prophecy. But at the same time, 
if we are parents and we're not speaking those things into our children's lives that are positive, that will lift them up, that give them the word of God, that would give them the tools to encourage them, to seek their dreams and, and go for their goals in life, then we're doing a disservice. We must edify one another and how we speak to one another and what we say to one another. Words are very powerful. Jesus is called the word of God. Jesus, the word made flesh because the word is powerful. Jesus, the resurrected word of God, all power is in his hands. That's how powerful words mean. That Jesus, the word of God, is so powerful that existence will not even be in creation. Creation would not be in existence without the word of God. We are created through the word of God. Our new life is created through the word of God by speaking those things that are edifying, that reflects who Jesus is. So it's very important that we understand that when we say something to someone, it has power and it can cut down to the bone, the marrow, the soul, the spirit of an individual. We can use words to build up, to give life. And we can also use words to tear down and, and to try to, to defeat. Again, life and death are in the power of the tongue what we speak. When we speak the word of God, we speak life. Anything other than that, we, we speak death and destruction. So the power of your words, understand that we do have power when we speak. It's not physical strength, it's spiritual strength. And there's a reaping and sowing in what we speak. Because when we uh, speak life, life comes back to us. When we speak destruction and death, that will come back to us. We reap what we sow. So remember, when we're sowing good things into people's life by speaking in their life and speaking over their life, we're giving them life. We're giving them inspiration. We're building them up in the faith. And when we don't do that, we're not giving them that positivity, that life, that spirit that will cause them to seek and grow and mature in the things of God. The power of your words. We must think about what we say, when we say it, and who we say it to. It's very important that we know that our words have power. And the ultimate word, Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Word of God, has all power. And God gives us the power to speak life and death through our voice, through the exercising of our tongue, through our mind body, and spirit. Let us pray. Most gracious and holy God, we thank you for your word. For your word gave us life. And then, oh God, we ask that you would allow our words to give life to those that hear us, that we edify them, build them up in the faith, oh God, that we say not words that would tear down and destroy. Oh God, let us be mindful what we speak with our tongue. Let us always be mindful that you gave Jesus power as the word of God and that we represent 
who Jesus is in this world. So let us be remindful to always speak life. And we speak it when we speak truth in the spirit of love. We thank you for all you have done for us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. The power of your words speak life to all that hear you. Amen.